to the U.S. Economics Editor for the Financial Times. Good to see you. Good to see you. The market's down very heavily. It's all about inflation and its worries in the U.S. whether or not there's going to be a half a percentage point rise. The Fed is now making it clear, come what may, they are going to tighten. Bank of England the same, ECB the same. Absolutely. I mean, they need to do something to address the inflation situation that they're facing, and, and they're in a, an exceedingly difficult position at the moment. I mean, they're facing the highest inflation in, in decades at this time, and you know, before the invasion, it was already uh, a really, you know, incredibly difficult problem, and that's gotten only worse um, since those events. Is the consensus now that the, U, that the Fed will do half a point at the next meeting? I think that's what markets are, are really expecting and pricing in at the moment. And it's not just in May, it's in June and potentially even July as well. They go, have they lost control of inflation? I think if you look at inflation expectations, um, which was, we got numbers overnight on that. Which we did, we, we did see a slight increase, but I think more broadly, people are not looking at this destabilizing, um, de-anchoring of inflation expectations, which would make people under the assumption that the Fed had lost control. So I think that there's still some expectation that they'll be able to contain inflation, but the question is, is how significant are those job losses really going to be? And there is a view now particularly in the US where it's a very tight labor market, and the UK, and Christine Lagarde said that doesn't quite the same in the ECB, that, there will, that unemployment has to rise and the market has to fall if slowdown is to be affected. This is a very difficult problem. Absolutely. I mean, this is exactly what the Fed is is trying to avoid, is a, a hard landing, uh, as you've kind of described here, where you get this very sharp contraction in growth. You see massive job losses. Now, Jay Powell, the chair, has expressed some optimism that the Fed will be able to bring down inflation without this adverse reaction. But the longer and higher inflation stays at these levels, the, the more difficult that will be. From your knowledge of the, of the party, I mean, Janet Yellen, enormously experienced. Jay Powell, been there a long time. The Fed governors, again, all enormously experienced. What do you sense from them? I mean, I, I think that they know the task at hand, which is to bring down inflation, and they have the tools to do so. The big question about monetary policy is that how blunt of an instrument really is that, and what does that mean for the economy more broadly? But in the U.S., particularly in, I mean, well, let's take the IMF meetings mm -hmm. here. Uh, they seem to be, th th there seems to be a depth to their problems that's almost unsolvable. It's a, it's a tricky position, and, and I do not envy the people that have to be making these policy choices at the moment. And one could say the ECB is in an even more difficult position than the, the Federal Reserve, frankly, because at the same time they're facing high inflation, um, they're also facing a more sizable slowdown in growth. So if the ECB is going to react to high inflation, uh, it could very well be the case that they're worsening the growth slowdown. Finally, Gita, I'm not the first managing director, former chief economist at the fund, she told me this morning that a recession was not on their forecast, a U.S. Right. recession. Right. However, more and more private economists are saying exactly that mid to late next year. I do sort of wonder, when do they wake up and smell the coffee and realize what's happening? Same as transitory inflation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, some of these things take quite a long time to become the, the base case, but I think it's quite evident right. that that's the direction that we're, we're heading in, potentially. So finally, difficult days. Difficult days ahead. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Good to see you again. Colby Switch from the FT. We'll talk more as this continues. Thank you very much indeed. Um,